Amen. Praise to the God of Bible. Praise to the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Today, as we stand and speak this format, we remember our brothers and sisters in Nigeria. Yeah. Who has been victims of religion called Islam? We've got brothers and sisters who have been getting killed by Muslims week after week. There is strong genocide is going on in Nigeria and in somehow media is silent. What are the statistics, Hatu? Can you read us? How many so, Christians were killed? Beginning of 2018, until 2018, June, end of June, yeah. approximately 1,750 Christians have been killed, plus nine Muslims. 1,750 Christians. They have been killed by Muslims with the crime of not worshipping Allah and not worshipping Muhammad. Where does that come from, brother? That comes from the Quran again. We did the polytheists previous to this. Now we're doing the Christians. So, Surah 929 says, Fight those who don't believe in Allah or in the last day, who don't consider unlawful what Allah and his messenger have made unlawful and who do not adopt the religion of the truth. From among those given the scripture, those are Jews and Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So these are Christians and Jews. The scripture is clear. It starts by saying, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Now we have some Muslim brothers who try to make this so nice and say this is a war time. The scripture starts saying fight those who don't believe in Allah. If it was war, it would start by saying fight those who are fighting you. Or defend yourself. Or it says defend, but it says fight those who don't believe in Allah. So if I don't believe in Allah, you're supposed to fight me. So Christians in Nigeria, they are experiencing genocide because of this diabolical religion and this book called the Quran. 1,750 Christians have been killed yeah. in the first six months of this year. 1,750 brothers and sisters killed because of the teachings of Islam. Yep. Since last three years, approximately 1,000 church have been burned down by the follower of Islam. 1,000 churches in three years are burned down. Within Bad. six months, 1,750 brothers and sisters in Christ are killed by the Christians who follow no fewer than 8,800 Christians have been targeted and killed in Nigeria in the past three years of June 2015 to June 2018. How many people? Bad. 8,800 people. There is a slow genocide is taking place in Nigeria. There is a genocide towards our brothers and our sisters in Nigeria. Yep. There is a genocide is taking place in Nigeria because of the teachings of Muhammad, because of the teachings of the Quran. You need to get up. It starts in Nigeria, it will end up here. Exactly. There is a small genocide towards in a country called Nigeria. And this is because of Islam. Nothing else. It's not only, it's not only media is silent about it. It's not only people are hiding behind the reality. It is when you are silent, that means you are all right with that.
and Islam thrives on ignorance and silence. When you're not exposing what the true face of Islam teaches, then Islam will take over slowly. But you need to start speaking out and tell the truth about Islam and what it does. You were shaking your head earlier on. I hope you're shaking your head because you disagree with the Quran. Actually a sarcastic shit. It's a sarcastic thing. So do you condone what happened in Nigeria, yes or no? You don't condone it, yeah? It's, not, it's contradictory to the Quran, okay. which says in Surah Ma'idah, chapter number 5, verse number 32, which says, uh, do not kill innocent people, it's as if you uh, kill the whole of mankind. Okay, can you, can you read the first part of Surah 532? Surah 532 talks about the children of Israel. I'll read it, I'll read it, no problem. Yeah. If, if you think, in Nigeria, killing of the innocent is not acceptable in Islam. Can you tell me what is the crime for people who do not believe in Allah and who do not believe in Muhammad? Those people, according to Islamic teachings, are not innocent. No, 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 no. Wrong. You do not Wrong. believe in Allah. Let's read, okay. You do not believe in Muhammad. Exactly. The moment you are identified as non-Muslim, Yes. Because the teachings of the Quran. And we, we were standing here reading Surah 929, and then you went to Surah 5, which is out of context, but I'll read it and expose your lies. Wait, Surah 9 is not the context of Surah 5. Let me expose your lies. Lies of Islam? The lies of Islam. It says, Surah 532, this is what he said. Because of that, we decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul unless for a soul or for corruption in the land that is as if he had slain mankind entirely this is decreed for the children of Israel not for the Muslims the next verse well, I haven't finished the next verse is for the Muslims watch indeed the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger strive upon earth corruption is none but they are killed or crucified or that their hands and feet cut off from opposite sides or they will be exiled from the land those are for muslims the one you quoted surah 532 is for the children of israel not for you so be consistent and then we quoted surah 929 to start with showing you the people of the book are supposed to be fought because we don't believe in Allah. Let's see, let's see what happened to the people of the book in Nigeria. 3 Samuel 53. Kill women and children and children. 24 June 2018. As Muslims attack 11 villages where Christians live, approximately 300 wives have been taken away. There you go. 24 June, 300 Christians have been killed by Muslims. 2018. Yeah, this year, by Those are Christians. So, Surah 929 is talking about Christians and Jews. So, why did you go to Surah 532? The Bible says that. The Torah says that. The Torah No, 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 no. It's got nothing to do with you, though. It's got nothing to do with Christians. Let's just focus on the Nigeria. Let's just focus on the Nigeria. Yeah. So, in two days, 300 Christians have been killed in Nigeria because people follow this book which tells you go and kill the people of the world. Yes. There is a genocide wait, wait, wait. massive killing is going on in Nigeria towards Christians. Within the first six months of this year, 1,000 Christians have been killed. 1,000 Christians. Within the last three years, 8,000 Calm down. Calm down. Is taking in 
Which area? Yeah. What do you want to respond? Respond to me. I can hear you. The camera can hear you. What do you want to say? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can you respect him? Wait. Go on. Okay, so if you look at the historical context, it was actually for the Battle of Tabuk. Yeah. And of what? Which one are you talking about? Surah 9 or Surah 5? Surah 9, 29. The Battle of what? Tabuk. Can you show me, please? If you look at Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Yeah, it says that it's based on the Battle of Tabuk. Yeah, and if you look at Surah 9, verse 1, it talks about them breaking the treaty. So you have to look at the historical context, and look at the whole surah, instead of looking at a, a singular verse in isolation. Because then I could do it the exact same to you, and then go to the book of Samuel, 15.13, when it says, go to Amalek and smite their necks for the men, Sir, women, why and children. Sir, why do people who uh, follow the, the Quran and who follow the teachings of Muhammad killed my brothers and sisters in Nigeria? I'm asking simple question, why? Why you have not spoken against them? Because you know better than me. It is Islamic and there is ethnic cleansing is taking on. Yes. There is ethnic cleansing towards Christians and Christians in Nigeria and Muslims are silent because Jesus saw people who are doing this, they follow the Quran and they follow the teachings of Muhammad. Exactly. Unacceptable, and this is a typical response from a Muslim that is just misquoting the scriptures. We're reading Surah 929. Ibn Kathir clearly says everyone should be called to Islam. If they don't accept Islam, kill them. That's what Ibn Kathir says. Ibn Kathir, page 183 to 184. Yeah? It's right here. At the end he says, therefore the messenger of Allah decided to fight Romans in order to call them to Islam. Why did he fight them? To call them to Islam. And if they don't believe in Islam, kill them. You don't even need to go to the outside of the sources outside, beside the Quran. He went to Ibn Kathir. Surah 9 verse 28. Yes, read it. verse in the context. Yes. They are final year. And if they fear provision, if you fear the if you fear provision, Allah will enrich you. If they fear what? If they fear poverty. If he feels indeed Allah is all knowing and wise. So verse is telling us from now on, people cannot approach to the Unless they are Muslim. 29. And then Allah says, Don't worry about getting that money because I will find you a way. Verse 29 tells us what is that way. Fight against those who do not believe, believe in Allah. Christians do not believe in Allah. And in the last day, in the last day, and what Allah has forbidden. No. They do not accept what Muhammad teaches. Therefore, also wonderful word of Allah says, fight them or kill them if they don't want to pay Jizya. Ethnic cleansing is going on in Nigeria because the teachings of the Quran. Man will get up 
motherfuckers You need to wake up, up people. Your Muslims are saints, not just killings. Exactly. Not the genocides, not the ethnic cleansing. It will start in Nigeria. It will come here. Because, thank you, Muslims are taking over the whole world. But that is the solution. The solution is Jesus Christ. What about the crusades? The crusades never followed Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, pray for those who despitefully use you. Pray for your persecutors. If they disobeyed him, they're doing wrong. But the Quran and the Hadith and the Tafsir clearly teaches. He's a Muslim, I'm telling him. Ibn Kathir says, if they don't believe in Islam, kill them. They're Christians. Here, here, everyone, everyone in the world should be called to Islam. If any of them refuse to do so, or refuse to pay jizya, they should be fought till they are killed. I'm reading it slow so you get it. Who is it talking about? Even Jizya. The people who pay Jizya are Christians and Jews. No, it's talking about the Romans. Can you go to the first one? Don't play that joke about This is Tafsir ibn Kathir, brother. Can you go to the first one? This name's Kathir. They are scripture. He's twisting it so much. But they cannot deny people who Follow the religion called Islam are doing ethnic cleansing in Nigeria. Amen. They yeah, are exactly. Genociding no, amen to that. In Nigeria. Solution for that is. Well, you show that. You show that. that this this spoke. Spoke. Where did they, where did they in Nigeria. What about the Columbia? What about the Columbia? Are they Christian? Solution for this is. Is this, this book? Lord Jesus Christ. And it's found in the Holy Bible. Exactly. Amen. Not kill them. Not, not, not subjugate them under you. No, he says, love you them. Don't Catholic. Love your you enemies. The Catholic. Love the, love those who persecute you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. That's a higher moral, higher standard. Islam is low. It's low standard, low value. Come to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Part of the way to say no to the ethnic cleansing in Nigeria. One of the way to say no to the genocide in Nigeria is only you repent from your sins. Yeah. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ, who will enable you to see another Human beings is God's system. Love them and care for them. Who dare not take the life of those people? Amen.